Let us quickly run through the screen options when the retinal module is attached. Left soft key. There are two functions for the left soft key. The aiming light, selected as infrared or white, can be turned on and off. The aiming light can also be turned on by half pressing the shutter button. The camera is powered on and off by pressing the left soft key for longer than two seconds. Right soft key. There are two functions for the right soft key. Switch between auto and manual focus modes. Autofocus range is minus 11 to plus 3 diopters. Manual focus range is minus 20 to plus 20 diopters. Enter the camera menu by pressing right soft key for longer than one second. Middle key. Press the middle key to activate the focus window. It is possible to move it using arrow keys to better capture the wanted area. If multiple patients are examined during a same session, it is recommended to create a new file folder for each patient's images. A new folder is created by pressing the middle key for three seconds. Icon P at the top of the screen indicates the number of the current patient folder. Left right arrow. Use the left and right arrow keys to adjust capture light brightness. Aiming light brightness is adjusted in the menu. Move the focus window using the left and right after pressing middle key to activate. The window returns to original position when the camera is put into the cradle, turned off, or an optics module is detached. Up-down arrow. When manual focus is active, use the up and down arrow keys to focus. Press arrow key up when the patient has myopia. Press arrow key down when the patient has hyperopia. Move the focus window left and right after pressing middle key to activate. Let's take a look at the menu options associated with the retinal module. Capture mode. Both still images and video can be taken with the Pictor camera. When taking video, the shutter button must be held down. The video recording will stop once the shutter button is released. Focus window. The focus window can help users position the image. The focus window can be moved on the screen by first pressing the middle key until the icon F appears in the upper right corner of the display and the arrow keys will aim. Shoot mode. The shoot mode functions can be used when autofocus is enabled. There are two shoot modes to choose from, normal and auto. In normal mode, the camera will focus when the shutter button is pressed halfway down and take a picture when the shutter button is pressed all the way down. In auto mode, when the shutter button is pressed, the camera will focus and take a picture automatically. Please note, manual focus is recommended for optimal picture quality. Mark side. It is possible to mark which eye was imaged. When switched on, the side is marked to the file name and to the image. For video files, the side is always marked only to the file name. The camera will ask to confirm which side to mark after the image is taken. Identifiers used for eye images are OS for left and OD for right. Prefocus. The prefocus function is only used in auto mode. Prefocus prevents user from taking images that are out of focus. When prefocus feature is enabled from the menu, the camera prompts the user to focus again if the focusing failed. It is recommended to keep this feature turned off and shoot in manual mode. IR Brightness Infrared illumination brightness has three levels, low, medium, and high. High is recommended. Red Free If Red Free image is enabled from the menu, the camera will save a picture using a green channel in addition to a standard image. Illumination Mode Use left and right arrow keys to select aiming and capture light source. Higher illumination settings are recommended for darker retinas.